Would you like to replace your boring background with something more interesting, like a solid white color, or your company logo, a beautiful scenery video clip? How about a computer screen or an iPhone screen? Here's how I set up my green screen video with OBS live stream. First, open your OBS software. I already have mine opened up. Next, we go to the scenes window. Click on the plus icon. By default, it's called scene one. Click OK. We have added a new scene. We shall now add a new source for scene one. Under the sources window, go to the bottom and click on the plus icon. Select video capture device. Click OK. Inside the dialog box for properties for video capture device, go to the device list, open it up. You will see a list of connected cameras or webcams. Since I'm using the MacBook Pro, I select FaceTime HD camera. Then click OK. Under the sources window, right click on video capture device. Select transform, select fit to screen. Now I fit the screen. You arrange your green screen background to fill the entire screen. Go to your video capture device again under sources, right click on it. This time select filters. Inside the dialog box for filters for video capture device, go to the window under video effects filter. Click on the plus icon below and select chroma key. Press OK. By default, under key color type, green is selected. There is also blue, magenta or custom color, but we shall stick to green. Then we have other variables for you to adjust to remove the green completely and smoothly. If you have a good green color, a pure green color and good lightings, you don't have to do any adjustments at all. Click close. The black color you see behind me is actually transparent. Let's try replacing it with a white background. I go to my sources window, click on the plus icon, select image, I click OK, and then I'll browse my pictures. I have a white solid background already cropped to HD, full HD size. Select it, open, and then click OK. You notice the white covers my face now because we have to move the image below the video capture device. So click on image and then click on the down arrow below so now i'm in a white background you can still see a little bit of shadow that means i need more lighting shone on the green screen now let's try replacing it with a still image i go to the sources window click on the plus icon click on image click ok the still image i want to choose is my website logo click open click ok it's not fitting the screen, so I will go to the under the source window, image 1, right click, select transform, fit to screen. Again, select image 1, bring it below my video capture device by clicking the down arrow. I just have to move and you can see my logo. To add a video clip, again we go into the sources window, click on the plus icon below and select media source. Click OK, click Browse, I will select Ships, click OK, again, where, where am I? And under the source, move the media source down, I'm outside now, right, there's a ship beside me, ooh. Now we shall try to replace the background with my computer screen, this time I select Window Capture, press OK, and under Window List, I'll select my Google Chrome, right? My website. Click OK. Now again, it's occupying, it's too large. I'm going to make it fit the screen. Transform, fit to screen. Again, it's a bit out, so I will adjust a little bit more. And again, under the sources window, push it below video capture device. And if I move aside, I can start presenting my desktop. Let's make this screen a little bit bigger because the next one is going to be exciting. If you are on a Mac 
and if you use an iPhone you can connect them together and then present your iPhone screen at the back okay I'm gonna do it now I've already connected my iPhone to the Mac click the plus add another window capture click OK and then under Windows list I'll select Yep, the iPhone is connected to QuickTime Player Movie Recording. So select QuickTime Player, click OK. Again, it's rather large here. I'm going to manually adjust the size. Okay, reposition it somewhere here. Now, if you notice, I'm still behind the screen. Same thing, go to Sources, click the down arrow. Now, I'm in front of my iPhone screen. Now, this is the vertical mode. What if I want it in a horizontal mode? Let me select my favorite game. So it switches to horizontal mode or landscape mode. Again, you have to move and adjust. So now I'm in the game. If you think it's cool, leave a comment below. If you like this video, click the like button somewhere below. And if you have any questions or comments, also leave them below. And if you really, really like this video, I would appreciate it if you could share it. If you are watching this on YouTube, click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Adrian from videolane.com. See you in the next video.